G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. I'm Josh. Today, we're going to look at how to convert a decimal number across to a hexadecimal number. So, let's go through and do this. Now, first off, what is the difference between a decimal number and a hexadecimal number? Well, the hint's in the name. And they're the different base number counting systems that we're using when we talk about these. What I mean by this is decimal here has a deck there. That deck means 10. This is a base 10 numbering system. What this means is this. Say we're to think of a number. Uh, it's in its hundreds here, so we have our hundreds, our tens, and our units. Well, if I was to go through and have a look at each one of our uh, digits in there, first off, we have our units. I can choose from 10 different digits there to do this. Uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And for the tens, I can also do the same. I get 10 different digits to choose from. I get 10 different digits to choose from in my hundreds and so on and so forth. So it's said to be a base 10 numbering system. Whereas hexadecimal, well, it's a little bit different. Hexadecimal, what we're talking about is hex, that stands for six, dec, that stands for 10. So six plus 10 is equal to 16. This is a base 16 numbering system. So what does this mean? So once again, that same sort of thing there, but we, this time when we have a look at our units, we don't have 10 digits to choose from, with a base 16 number, we have 16 digits to choose from. And same with the second digit and third digit and so on and so forth. So rather than 10, we go on beyond zebra and we are using a whole bunch more digits. So what are the digits that are used with hexadecimal? Let's have a look at these. I'm gonna need a bit more space. So we'll give ourselves a bit more space there and we'll start putting these in. So we have decimal and hexadecimal and we'll start comparing the pair. So Decimal has 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We don't write 10 in because we hit 10, and what we do is we put a 0 down here and we move the 1 to the tens place there. But there are our 10 digits there, 0 through to 9 for decimal. Okay, for hexadecimal, what we do is we have the 0, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Those bits are the same. But then once we hit this 10th digit, because all up we have uh, 16 digits here, once we hit this 10th one here, we have A. We hit 11, we have B. We hit 12, we have C. We have 13, we have D. We have 14, we have E. And at 15 here, we have F. And then once again, once you hit 16, what would happen is we'd put a zero there and we would put a one right there. So 16, funnily enough, would be written as, that would be 16 base. 10. Okay, we're not going to get too confused. So I'm not going to get too confusing with that yet, but let's go through and have a bit of a look at these, okay? I'll possibly confuse the living heck out of you just then, but let's go through and look at how to convert a decimal to a hexadecimal there. So say, for instance, what we wanted to do is we wanted to get 382 in base 10, and I want to change this across to what the base 16 number here is. Okay, so what's that going to be? All right. The way we do this is as follows. We're going to be doing a lot of dividing by 16. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move in just a little table there that tells us the 16 times table. It's going to help us out a whole bunch. All right, so first off, like I said, we're going to be dividing by 16. So we're going to get 382 and we divide it by 16. Now, I could go through and draw the bigger, these sort of things to do this in, but I can do this actually quite easily going across, but you use whatever method you use to divide by 16. So first off, 3 divided by 16, we can't do. So 38 divided by 16, that is going to equal 2, because uh, 2 times 16 is 32, and we carry a 6 across there. 62 divided by 16, that is going to equal 3, because we don't quite make it up to the 64 there. And we have a remainder there, because we're gonna go up to our 48, we have a remainder of 14. Okay, now what we do is we look at this number here. We're gonna keep these remainders for a bit later, but we look at this number here, this 23, we move this down here and we divide it by 16. So 23 divided by 16, that is equal to one, okay? Because one times 16 is 16, we have a remainder of seven. All right, do the same thing once again. We're going to move our 1 down here, down here, and go 1 divided by 16. This is equal to 0 with a remainder, well, no surprise, of 1. 
So once this occurs, we stop. Once we hit this stage where we hit zero here, we stop, okay? Now what we can do is we can easily have a look at what our hexadecimal number is. We do this by looking at the remainders. So first off, we have remainder one. So looking from our decimal to hexadecimal there, one is equal to one, seven is equal to seven, and 14 here is equal to E. Now we read upwards this way. So we have one, seven, E, base 16. That's 382 base 10 is one, seven, E, base 16. There you go, that's how you go through and you do these. Anyway, you like this video so far? Remember, hit the like button and subscribe and tell me what your favorite hexadecimal number is. But right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give a bunch of these that you can do. We'll start with 109, uh, base 10, and we'll see what that is as base 16. We'll next go to 219, base 10, to base 16. And then we'll have a look at 853, base 10, to see what that is, base 16. So pause the video and give a go to these ones yourself. You done that? No, you haven't. You're just waiting for me, aren't you, to go through the answers and show you. Uh, we'll do that, all right? So let's start. We have 109. And we're going to divide that by 16. So 109 divided by 16, you can see on our little table here that it's going to be 6, all right, because we go up to 96. Therefore, we have a remainder of 13. Okay, so we have 6 divided by 16. We're going to get 0 here and a remainder of 6. So what are our letters that go along with this? Well, starting from the bottom here, we have... 6 corresponds with 6, and 13 corresponds with D. This is equal to 6D by 16. How'd you go with that? So let's have a look at the next one. Uh, 219, we're going to convert that across to base 16. So first off, dividing by 16, what do we get? So 21 divided by 16, that first part there, can't go 2 divided by 16, but 21 divided by 16 is equal to 1. We have 5 left over, and 59 divided by 16, well, that is going to be 3 with a remainder of 11. Told you this table here is really handy, right? So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get our 13. 13 divided by 16, that is equal to 0, remainder 13. So what are our letters that are going to go in right here. So 13, that corresponds to D. Uh, 11 here, that corresponds to B. We have DB, base 16, all done. Happy days, right? Let's have a look at the final question here, the hardest one I reckon it would be. 853, and we are going to convert that across to the hexadecimal. So 853 divided by 16. What does that equal? So 853, Let's break this down into parts. We can't do eight, but we can go 85 divided by 16. That is going to equal five, okay? Right there, five times 16 is 80. So we have five left over. 53 divided by 16, well, that is going to equal three because we're on 48 over here. Three times 16 is 48. That means that we have a remainder of five. All right, let's move this, not the 16 down, let's move the 53 down. 53 divided by 16, this is going to equal, well, like before we had 53, this is going to equal three with a remainder of five. And then finally, let's go through and move this three, three divided by 16, this is going to equal zero with a remainder of three. So we go through now and we put in our letters. As you can see here, we just have three, five is going to stay as five, and five is going to stay as five. This is going to equal 355 by 16. So there you go. That's how you go through and you convert a decimal across to a hexadecimal. It's pretty easy, right? So what have you gone through and you've learned? You've learned what the letters are for hexadecimal. You've learned uh, how to go through and do it. You've done pretty well out of this video. So if you do like this video, remember, hit the like button and subscribe and tell me if you did go okay. Big shout out to my patrons. If you wish to support the Tech Math channel, there is a link in the description below. I will see you next time.